I feel so far away from the camera. Can you hear me? Hello? Are you gonna focus on me, please? Thank you. So I like to think this channel is lifestyle, so let's that's why I'm doing this because we're going through life together. We are. Okay, we're good, we're good. 20 minutes class. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm here. You're there. We're here. Let's do this. As you can see, we're in a different background. We're in a different area. This is my bedroom. You might recognize this from older videos that I filmed. This is my set. This is my curtain. These are my fairy lights that are actually broken and I'm devastated. Anyway, here we are. Today's video is going to be about the things that I do to keep me sane during this global pandemic. I know that we could easily slip into another lockdown level five. It's currently level three as I'm filming this, but there are rumors that level five is gonna happen by the end of the weekend. Currently editing this video and we're in level five. I said I'd let you know the things that I do to keep me going. Some of these now I won't be able to do with level five. Actually, I think it's only one, maybe two, maybe two. So let's just get onto the video. I, vid, video. I have 10 things, let's just do this. Um. Okay, so. My window is here, so this is why there's light here. Because we all know I don't have studio lights. Okay, let's get on to the video. The first thing that keeps me sane during this global pandemic is my PTs. I started PTs about seven weeks ago now, I think. And I am obsessed. You know what? It just keeps me sane. It's three times a week, 30 minutes each time. And it is such a great workout. And I love my PT trainer. He's class, does the job, and I, you know what, it just keeps me sane. I feel so much better, especially exercising, and because otherwise I probably wouldn't do it myself. I'm not that motivated, like, I wouldn't go to the gym and work out myself, because I just, not that I'm lazy, but I won't push myself as hard as I would with the PT, or even a class. So my PTs have definitely kept me going, giving me something to do as well. So if we do go into level four slash level five, these will stop, sadly. <laughs> I'm actually devastated because they have stopped, and... I don't know what to do with myself. I know F1T do online classes, so I'll be moving to there. Okay, number two is dance classes. So I take online dance classes when I can. I'm subscribed to the, the Space TV. It is a place in America and they do all online classes and stuff, which is fantastic. So I take classes there whenever I just want to have fun. Like dance is kind of a hobby for me. I also train twice a week with Aileen, but obviously that's closed at the moment because we're level three, so I've been doing more online classes. Dance is just a hobby for me. Yes, it's a great form of exercise. I'm here just doing it for the fun, for the shits and giggles. I'm not that good, but I'm there to have fun. So that's what I do. Okay, number three, I go for walks. I like to go for walks with my friends. Obviously, if we go into level five, I won't be able to do that anymore. Going, I could still go for walks with myself, but going with friends probably is it allowed? I don't know. I've been listening to podcasts at the same time. So I've kind of gotten this love for podcasts recently. They're just so entertaining and it gives your eyes like a break from looking at the screen. So I like to listen to podcasts on my walks because I think I just get bored of music sometimes and podcasts can be interesting. Like you could find a hilarious podcast. Number four is eating nice and healthy food. I used to always be so bloated because I'd be eating crap the whole time. I'd be getting takeaways like five times a week and I would just be eating crap and I'd always be so bloated. But when I started my PTs, obviously he gave me a plan as well and I started eating healthy and oh my God, it has changed my life. I'm not, I'm not bloated anymore. It is insane how afterwards your stomach would be so bloated and then like now I'm eating healthy food and I haven't been bloated for a good couple of weeks. It's great. It's so weird and I never noticed it before this so eating healthy food is so good for you And like it's good for your body, especially if you're doing classes and exercise intense You want to fuel your body give yourself the nutrients to do it and to get it on and to build the muscles and Yeah, so that kind of keeps me going eating healthily ish 
and also just eating nice food just food that you enjoy okay we're halfway through number five is animal crossing so i don't know if you know i've said in some of my other videos i play animal crossing on my switch so this is my nintendo switch Lite, and i have animal crossing and basically if you don't know what animal crossing is you're on a deserted island and basically you just design it you just put stuff you make little things you design it you do whatever the hell you want and you know what it is so calming this game i don't know what it is about going doing a bit of fishing or catching some bugs or picking up weeds it is like so relaxing and like not stressful at all and it is just so good i've been spending my time doing that because that is entertaining as hell and i could spend hours on this and you wouldn't even notice look at me you definitely can't see that but that's my little island number six is basically watching netflix and prime video so every evening i have to keep myself in a routine i've been watching movies obviously after i've had my dinner after i've done my exercise after i've done everything i wanted to do during the day to, as a way to relax i watch some movies on either netflix or prime video i also have hey hey you but i've been watching episodes in that i don't know if they have movies or not i've been re-watching dad's mom but at night i like to relax in bed here turn on my fairy lights if they work sometimes they do other times they don't i need a new pair and it's just such a nice way to relax because especially if i was had a pt or after work and it was after a long day it's just so nice just to relax and just to normally i put the movie on at about half eight nine o'clock so it's not too late because i do need my sleep i'm a big believer in getting at least eight hours sleep and if i don't okay number seven <laughs> is podcast so i'm literally already talked about podcast in my wall so you know the deal there number eight okay shopping shopping has been keeping me sane during this global pandemic online shopping i have an issue i'm a shopaholic i buy a lot in the past week i have bought blue light glasses definitely recommend these especially if i'm on screens all day my friends recommend it. I have bought a tripod for my car for my drive with bees. I have bought all these books. After is a movie, by the way, on Netflix. You should watch it. Very, very good. The second one, After We Collided, came out in cinemas. I watched it just before the level three. Thank God it was also brilliant. I might try stream this myself and watch it again. But these are the books and I want to read them. Have I touched them yet? No. When did I buy this? Like three weeks ago. What else did I buy? Gym gear. This is a bra, by the way, a bra top. Gym gear. More gym gear. What's this? This is the top. And we have more gym gear, leggings. More gym gear, leggings. I've bought a lot of gym gear. Um, I've also bought an Alexa. Alexa, play some music. Here's Spotify. Bet you it's great showman. I literally was just filming that clip and when it said, Alexa, play music, etc. Here's Spotify. It did it again. Oh my God. We're all good. So yeah, I bought an Alexa. How exciting is that? And yeah, so I've also bought so many other things as well, but they're around my house. I've either used them or is there anything else around my room? No, but I have a shopping addiction, so no doubt I will buy more. Retail therapy is the best type of therapy. Fact. Number nine. Oh my god, I can't do this number thing. Is YouTube just watching, making my videos, editing my videos, uploading my videos. It's giving me something to do. It's keeping me sane. So thank you for watching it because I'm helping you, but also you're helping me. Watching Animal Crossing videos, watching lifestyle videos, watching fashion, beauty, everything. It's keeping me sane. And the last thing, the last thing that is keeping me sane during this global pandemic is Oreo ice cream. Oh, it's so good. It's just so freaking good. That's literally what's getting me through this global pandemic. Oreo ice cream. Okay, that's it. That's everything. That is everything that I'm doing slash using slash buying slash listening to slash eating to get me through this global pandemic. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if any of the below, anything that I said already helps you during this global pandemic. I'm getting on with my life and this is how I'm doing it. These are the things that are helping me get through this global pandemic. So I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe some of these things will help you. Who knows? If they do, let me know. Drop it down below in the comments or DM me on Instagram. My Instagram is also linked down below and also probably on the screen now. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week, Sunday 7pm and be there or be square. Sorry, I'm so like tired. I might go for a nap. Okay, bye! Don't forget to subscribe! Yeah.